Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss about the passing fragments to route in Angular 15. In the previous video, where we have seen how to pass the uh, data or basically the ID and the query parameter in a route. In this video, we will discuss about the fragment, like how we pass the fragment to the route. So before proceeding with this video, I recommend please watch previous part of this tutorial series. So first let's understand what is the fragments in the uh, route basically. So basically if we talk about the fragment, so it's a uh, uh, like basically a internal page reference which we call sometime as a name anchor. Now for an example like we have the URL and in this URL if you will see something like hash and then that section name. So that is the fragment. Now for an example, if I will go on the uh, our URL and this we are working. So currently like we have four tabs and when we click on any tab, we are going to the respective component. In case of the fragments, like all the information will be on the same page and based on the section, we will move up and down. Now for an example, here we have the home and if we will click on the contact, it is uh, contact us information. If I will here like currently we are on the contact us page but if i will give in that way like hash contact us so basically it will not go to the another component basically like in the same component it will go scroll down and it will see that information so let's understand it with an example so here what we have to do we have to make couple of the changes so for that one what we have to do first like this is the router outlet and we know the use of the router outlet is basically to replace uh, one component with the another component data so let's comment it because we don't want that all the information should be on the same page and here now what we have to do we have to use the all the uh, like information we are having here now for an example if i will go on the home page and the id of this or the selector basically is app home so let's copy this and let's put here so app home like this we have to use for all and with this what we have to do we have to give the id of of every section so here i'm going to give the id home now similar to this one we have to give the id for student teacher and the contractors and we have to get that section we we have to put it here so i'm already having it so it will save the time so i'll keep it like this so now here what we have done we have used all the section here if you will save and you will see all the information like home works then it is the student information then teacher and the contact form all the information we can see on the same page now the next thing is let's comment it out because that is not needed we are not going to navigate from one page to another page now let's copy it and let's comment it, paste it here. Now here, like currently in the router link, we are passing the data. So here, let's make all these as empty. So because we currently we are not going to use the router link. Let's remove these brackets because that is also not needed because we don't have any data. So these router link should not be in the big bracket. So this is the first thing we have to do now another way we have to use the fragment so to use the fragment here what we have to do we have to use the fragment keyword and that is the fragment and then in this fragment we have to pass the section id name and that is the home here we have to pass in this way now similar to this one we have to pass for all the data like for the student teacher and contact us so now let's copy it and uh, that is for student let's copy for the teacher and contact and now let's save this and now if you will go here you will see like uh, if i will click on the student we can see all the url is changing with the fragment basically all the section is coming here if i will click on home you can see hash home if i will click on the contact it is coming a hash contact now if i will scroll down we can see like our bar is not fixed so to make if you want to make it as a fixed then we have to go into the css for the same and currently like here we are having as in top nav so we have to change the css for this one so for to change the like position what we have to do 
we have to put it as a fixed and if you want to make the width we can make like for an example 800 pixel now let's save this go in the browser and we can see now if i will scroll down we can see our uh, like this top uh, nav is the fixed it's not moving and again like if i will click on any tab we are changing the section now what we want now for an example if i will click on the contact us tab it should scroll down and it should come here on this and if i will uh, click on home it should go on the first position so to for that one what we have to do let's come here and go in the um, ts file and here we what we have to do first in the constructor let's take private activate route so basically this is the variable and the type of this is activated route now here what we have to do this dot activated route dot fragment then subscribe and here let's take this variable name as section and now here what we have to do like so in this section basically like when i will click on any tab it will take that particular section because we are taking the object of the activated route means whatever the current active route is there it will take that value now if let's create one method that is go to section and in this what i'm going to do i'm going to take the section value and the type of is this any and default value i'm giving this now here we have to use the document dot get element by id and this id will be the section and here to make it to check it should not be null and scroll into view and the behavior of this is it should be like the behavior should be the smooth now let's call this method from here this dot go to section and we have to pass the section so basically what we are doing here we created even method uh, the use of this method to scroll into view and we are uh, going to that particular section and that we are calling using the activated route dot fragment dot subscribe and we are getting the section and we are moving to that particular section now after the save let's go in the browser let's refresh it once and you can see currently like we are on the current contact so it is going here if i will click on home we are scrolling up and teacher uh, like it is coming here and contact it is coming let's see why for the teacher it is coming here let's go in the html and see what the issue we are getting so here teacher we are having okay so i think like here let's see click home if i will click on the student it is coming on the same contact us it is coming scroll down and here i think it is taking okay so we have the small uh, uh, section for this one that's why it is uh, not able to properly identify so that's why it is uh, coming in this way but this is the way of uh, going from one section to the another section basically so here what we have done we have used the fragment here fragment and then we are passing that respective value and here what we are doing we we are using that uh, instead of the router outlet what we are using we are using the app home okay so so this is the way like we use the fragment in our angular application so what what we do like for fragmentation we don't use the first of all router outlet we we use uh, the id and then we use the router like basically we pass here fragment with that particular id and in this ts file using the activated route we use the fragment we subscribe it we get the section name and then we scroll to that particular view so this is the way we use the fragment in angular so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you